Hello and welcome to my channel. Today's video we are going to be making this little St. Patrick's Day hat for the Rainbow Friends Bear. It is only for the hat. If you want to do the bear or the clover leaf applique, there will be links down in the description. And you can find that at the bottom of the video where I believe it says more or see more. This is a crochet along so I will be doing every stitch with you. As well as there will be a little drop down with the pattern instructions for the first 30 seconds of each row to help you out. And if you like my videos, make sure you hit the subscribe button and that not only helps me out, but it will also notify you every time I load a new video. Okay, I think that's it. So grab your yarn and let's get started. So we're going to begin by making a knot with a loop on the end as if you were going to be making a chain. You can also use a slip knot or magic ring or the chain too, however you prefer to start when you're going in the rounds. Insert your hook, grab your yarn and pull up and through chain one and that does not count as a stitch. That is just to secure our yarn to our loop. And for round one, we're going to do six single crochets into the loop. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. Grab a stitch marker if you're using one. And for round two, we're going to do six increases. So that's two single crochets in every stitch all the way around for a total of 12. So increase one and two. Increase three and four. Increase five and six. Increase seven and eight. Increase nine and ten. And our last increase. 11 and 12. Row three, you're going to do one single crochet, one increase, repeat that all the way around for a total of 18. One, increase, two, and three, four, increase, five, and six, seven, increase, eight and nine, ten, increase, eleven and twelve, thirteen, increase, 14 and 15, 16, and our last increase, 17 and 18. Row four, we're going to do two single crochets, one increase, repeat that all the way around for a total of 24. One, two, increase, three and four, 
five, six, increase, seven and eight, nine, ten, increase, eleven and twelve, thirteen, fourteen, increase, fifteen and sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, increase, nineteen and twenty. This will be our last set, 21, 22, and an increase, 23 and 24. Now we're going to make the corner of our hat so it starts going down. So we're going to be going in the back loops. So for the back loops, instead of going down under through both sides of the V. We're going to go in between the V and then out the back. So for row five, we're going to do 24 single crochets all the way around in the back loops. So down through that V, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, whoops, nine, ten, and you'll notice, see you're starting to get a little ridge around there. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and last one, 24. Now we're going to switch back to going into the normal loops. So under both sides of the V, so just right like that again. And for row six, we're just going to do 24 single crochets all the way around. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and 24. Row seven, we're going to do two single crochets, one decrease, repeat that all the way around for a total of 18. So one, 
2 and decrease for 3. 4, 5, decrease for 6, 7, 8, decrease for 9, 10, 11, decrease for 12, 13, 14, and decrease for 15. 16, 17, and our last decrease for 18. Now for rows 8 to 11, we're going to do 18 single crochets all the way around. And I am going to count them consecutively. So four rows of 18. 4 times 18 is 72, so I'm going to do 72 stitches, flip my marker every time I reach a set of 18. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, flip your marker if you're using one, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, Flip your marker if you're using one. Keep on counting. 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, oops, 52, nope, 52, 53, 54, Flip your marker if you're using one and keep on counting. 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 
64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, and 72. Now we're going to be going in the front loop. So last time we went down and out. This time we're going to go under the front loop and then come up through the V. So for row 12, front loop only, you're going to do two single crochets one increase for a total of 24. So front loop, one, two, and an increase, three and four, five, six, and an increase, seven and eight. 9, 10, and an increase, 11 and 12. And if you just need to check, flip your, flip your hat over and you'll see you're going to get a line coming on the inside now. Thirteen, fourteen, and an increase. 15 and 16, 17, 18, and an increase, 19 and 20, 21, 22, and an increase, 23 and 24. Now we're going to go back into the normal stitches under the V, just like that. And for row 13, you're going to do three single crochets, one increase for a total of 30. So one, two, three, and an increase, four and five. Six, seven, eight, and an increase, nine and ten. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, and an increase, fourteen and fifteen. 16, 17, 18, and an increase, 19 and 20, 21, 22, 23, and an increase, 24 and 25, 26, 27, 28, and an increase, 29, and 30. Now, if you're going to finish it off like me, you're just going to do a slip stitch right here. Or you probably could do that either way. If I'm not closing mine on the bottom, but if you wanted to close your, yours on the bottom, do one or two chains. And then you're going to come into these um, back loops. And for one row, you're going to do one single crochet and one decrease for a total of 12. And then in the second row, you're going to do six um, decreases. And then you would stuff it or whatever you want to do and then close it up. So I'm going to tie mine off right here. 
and then move on to the next part. Just saw something. Look at this. These little frogs. You can put a little top hat on them. Anyway. <laughs> okay, so grab your black or whatever color you're going to use for your band. And you're going to make, um, leave a bit of a tail. And then you're going to make your knot with the loop on the end. We're going to be chaining. I'm just going to chain about 18. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. And 18 and then just wrap that around your little hat and see that it fits and that is good enough for me so I'm just gonna tie that off now and leave a bit of a tail I'm not going to be sewing mine on I am just gonna wrap it around and tie it on the inside Whoops. If you are sewing yours on, leave yourself a bit of a tail. Then grab your buckle color. Closest I've found to gold is this, um, I think it's called Harvest Gold or Gold by Red Heart. And then there's another one called Saffron. And you're just gonna do six single or six chains. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then you're just gonna join them. You're gonna slip stitch in the other end and then tie that off. Leaving a bit of a tail. We're going to use that to make the little um, straight part of the buckle that goes around the band. I'm going to try and remember how I did this. I think what I did. So you're going to hold the. I can't remember what I did with this part. You're going to hold the, the band with the buckle over top. And then you're going to take your darning needle and you're going to go back and forth on this side. So it'll kind of push, push it up a bit like that. So you're just going to grab a piece of a stitch here. And a piece of a stitch on the other side. And just go back and forth a few times. You're not going to see this part. I think I'm going to do this. Actually, that's probably enough even. So you're going to tie them together now. If you have a big knot like I do right there, you might have to try hiding it, but I'm going to be tucking mine inside the hat. So I'm going to find the front of the hat. And then I'm going to put the one end so just up from where you you have your two rows that are flat for the brim and then I'm just going to go up one more row so 
and I'm going to put one on one side. Oops. Holy, I have a mess. And then I'm going to put the other side one stitch over. So it's on this side. Do, 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 do. Come on, strings, get out of my way here. So I've got that one here. So I'm going to put this one on this side. Just so that there's a bar of stitches between. I'm going to pull that knot kind of through if I can. And then I'm just going to tie it and hide it on the inside. And then kind of just fix this how you want it. Oops, I pulled it right back out. And then take your band, go around to the back. And I just tied mine. A couple of times and then I'm just going to hide those ends in the hat as well. around the bottom of your brim there. And then for me, my hat is finished. Let's see it on this little guy. If you don't like the way this sits, you can take your um, extra piece of tail and you can stitch that around how you want it. Um, I think that's everything. Um, I'm actually going to link this little frog down in the bottom too because you might want to... I'm hoping that he'll be a popular little guy. And this just kind of makes it great for St. Patrick's Day also. So don't forget, check out the description for all the other links that you might want to um, see. And, and if you do like this video or want to see any of my other videos, make sure you subscribe. Um, that really helps me out. Plus, you will be able to get a notification every time I load a new video. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys have a great day and happy crocheting.